Okay, so um, this is my curriculum spot. I work on the computer. I'm spending four or five hours a day doing it. Um, these are all my bookmarks. Each one of these is the place that I go to to try and do my lessons. Um, first one here is uh, the scope and sequence for the seventh grade. I've tried to follow this scope and sequence, although mine won't be exactly the same, but it does follow all of the common core standards that were required to cover, and then I try to fit them into my curriculum. The next one is a sixth grade one. Uh, that's my sixth grade scope and sequence. This is my uh, eighth grade scope and sequence. It tells me what unit it is and what standard we're learning in each unit. Then I go to my site. Uh, this is CUDA software. Uh, I get free worksheets there um, that are tied to those standards that we're trying to learn. Uh, math worksheets for kids is another great place for teachers. Uh, these are all free websites that we're using. Common Core Sheets. Um, you can tell I can go in here and go to the grade. Let's say I want to go eighth grade number or expressions and learn 8EE1. Um, go down and it tells me, okay, I've got two different worksheets to pull from. I can pull from any one of those worksheets and start to do some work. It's kind of great. It's nice. Didn't have that option 20 years ago when I started. Then we go to my curriculum sites and uh, this helps us do our higher level thinking. This one's called Learn Zillion. I spend a lot of time at this in the conference um, and our students will be learning a lot with Learn Zillion. You can do a lot of cool things with it. Okay, Khan Academy, our kids will also be doing a lot of Khan Academy stuff. You see here the eighth grade, it tells you all the standards that are in the eighth grade. And then you can click on the standard and it tells you where you're at. Let's say we want to go to geometry. Geometry has look one standard here with one, two, three different things I can pick from. Uh, another one right here, another one right here. Uh, one right here I can pick from, two I can pick from from 8GA3, which is describing the effects of dilations, translations, rotations, and reflections on two-dimensional figures using coordinates or a coordinate grid. But um, all of this stuff we pull together and we try to put together for our kids so they have an opportunity to learn and be ready for this new emerging world. After that, we go to uh, Google Classroom, and Google Classroom has a bunch of my stuff on it. Um, this is what I'll be showing to all the kids every day. We can put on what the kids learn. They can go home, show their parents, or maybe relearn it if they didn't learn it in class. This one here is the official school calendar. And the official school calendar is um, helps me plan for the year. I'm, my goal is to have 100 days planned by the time school starts. I don't know if I'll hit that. But that way we actually know where we're going. Um, it's my philosophy that if you don't know where you're going, it's hard to get there. Uh, this is a rubric I'm working on for our connections project. This is the website that I'm working on with our connections project. And here's a video that I'm making for the connections project. Overall, I'm spending a great deal of time trying to come up with a great curriculum so our kids can learn and have a great year.